Hi friends! Today we are going to do a little Q&A. So I went on Instagram and asked y'all some questions. Actually, I guess technically you asked me questions. I asked you to ask me questions and you did that. So <laughs> let's get into the answers. Oh God. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Question number one. Any tips if you struggle with visualization? I assume this is talking about when you're working with energy or even in meditation, if you struggle with visualization, either focusing on visuals or if you have something like aphantasia where you like literally like see black when you try and visualize, my recommendation is just don't. <laughs> Like it really is that simple. You don't need to visualize in order to meditate properly or do energy work properly. Um, we did a series on our podcast about all the different ways that intuition can come through and energy work can come through. And visualization is just one of them. So you could instead focus on listening to sounds around you. Or you could instead focus on the feeling of the breath moving in the body or the feeling of your uh, feet on the floor or the feeling of the temperature in the room that you're in or you could just use your Imagination like the visual doesn't have to be super clear for you to maintain focus on it So your imagination is super powerful to your brain. So honestly if visualization is not your thing Just throw it out the window and do something that works better for your brain. Thanks Do you recommend using gem essences or crystal essences? <laughs> laughing because that word doesn't sound like a word anymore. I've said it so many times. I do, but I don't recommend buying them for the same reason I don't recommend buying moon water because you could just take water and stick it under the moon. Uh, the best way to make your own crystal or gem water is to either put uh, in a container with a lid on it, like one of these, your crystal on top, or the way that I like to do it is take clear quartz points and point them in, put them around like this was a center of a grid, and then put the crystal that you're trying to infuse the water with around that. So the clear quartz acts like a little slingshot. Let me know if you wanna see like a full tutorial. I can make a full video on how to make these. Just let me know if that's what you want. But the reason I don't recommend buying it is because you can just make it yourself. Like I think it's a little bit of a gimmick to buy. Next. I love this question. How can two minutes of Reiki work just as well as 60 minutes? If you know me, this is a soapbox in a hill I will die on. So the reason that I say two minutes a day is more effective than 60 minutes once a month is because the way that Reiki initiates the healing response in the body, the way it reduces stress, anxiety, pain, helps your immune system, helps you sleep, helps you relax, is because of the impact it has on your nervous system. And when it comes to the long-term regulation of your nervous system, the amount of consistency is more important than the amount of time. So let me give you a visual. Take out my handy dandy notebook. Okay, this is a sledding hill. If you're in Maine like me, you've seen these before. If you're not, just imagine what it would be like to see a sledding hill. This is the side that every kid in the neighborhood has gone down all day. When you get to the top here and you put your butt on the sled, you're just like a sheet of ice going down to the bottom, okay? This is the other side of the sledding hill, the side that maybe like one or two kids have gone down. So when you get to the top, you have to kind of like scoot yourself down the hill, right? Takes a little bit more effort, a little bit more time. This is also how your brain works. So your brain creates physical neural pathways based on patterns of repetition, okay? So imagine you get to, uh, you get to work and uh, somebody took your favorite parking spot and you're just like, that guy, I hate this. I have to walk further now. I didn't wear the right shoes, right? And you just go into this pattern of being pissed off. So by the time you sit at your desk at work and you see your to-do list that's like a mile long, you don't even have the mental bandwidth to sort out what you need to do first, right? That's how a lot of us live, is we just go down this fast track in our brain. We just go down the habitual pattern of thinking, and then that affects our physical health, our emotional health, our energetic health, etc. Now, you have another choice though, right? You could get to the top of that thought and see someone took your parking spot and go, that guy, but you know what? It is a nice day out and I guess I'll take a walk, right? And I guess I'll appreciate the fact that like, my feet can move and like my shoes do look nice, right? And I guess I'm not that pissed off after all, okay? So eventually 
like maybe with 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 every time you get pissed off, you say to yourself like, oh, could be worse, could be worse, could be worse, right? Or you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I have something here that I can be grateful for, right? I have something here that I can let go of. Just for this day, I'm not going to anger, right? And eventually, this becomes your new fast track. Right. And sometimes we go down, you know, this hill. Sometimes we start going down this hill and we skirt, skirt over the other one. But the more you repeat two minutes at a time, this new habit, the more it creates those neural pathways in your brain. Okay. So this physically rewires your brain to have a new fast track, a new response to that stress. Now, the thing is, in order to get from here to here, you have to have space at the top of your hill. A lot of us don't have that much space because we're living over here. We're living in our stress response. We're living like we're being chased by a tiger day after day after day. And Reiki helps us create space here. Helps us start to recognize when our brain thinks we're being chased by a tiger and reassure ourselves that like we're actually okay right now. So now I can make another choice. And what if that choice is two minutes of Reiki? Right? You're not gonna get this change if you only do your practice once a month. You're not going to get this lifelong change of the wiring of your brain if you only reach for Reiki once a month. That's why it's so powerful to do two minutes a day. On top of the fact that if it's two minutes, you're more likely to do it. So you're more likely to stay consistent with the habit than if I told you you have to do 60 minutes a day. Who has time for that? Last question. What is the best and worst thing about your business? Um, the best thing is that it exists and I get to help people and I get to do whatever I want every day. <laughs> like one of the reasons I love my business is because I feel like I can really create magic when I am most in alignment with my needs and my energy and being my own boss allows me to basically wake up and decide like, what do I have the energy for today? Is it an outgoing day where I'm going to be in front of camera all day? Is it more of like a uh, a logical day where I'm going to do back end work? Is it a day where I just want to like kind of screw off and take a nap with my dogs? And that really feels that freedom is really regenerating to me so that I have more energy to give to you and my clients and my students. And the worst thing is probably um, that <laughs> I have a lot of freedom and with a lot of freedom and ADHD. Sometimes it's like herding cats to try and get things done. So I've had to be really strategic and put into place uh, different systems for myself and different supports for myself to actually get the things done that I need to get done, even when my little squiggly brain would rather do anything else. So if you want to see a video on those systems I've created, let me know. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed that Q&A. Let me know in the comments below if you have other questions you want me to answer in a future video. If you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Make sure you do that and I will see you soon. Bye.